Welcome back to the Le Petit Saint Crochet blog. I'm Elise and this is little Ralphie. I'm so excited to introduce you to him. Now, I would like for you to comment below if you have an idea what movie was the inspiration for little Ralphie's name. It's my absolute all-time favorite Christmas movie. Number two. Little Ralphie is from the pattern Bear in a Bunny Suit by the very talented Susan B. Anderson. Now, I have a secret. Don't tell anybody, but I don't think he looks like a bear at all. Now, I'm going to take his little hood off here, and I would like to know what you think he looks like, and I'm going to tell you what I think he looks like. He doesn't look like a bear. That doesn't look like a bear at all. I think he looks exactly like an otter. Now, if you have never seen the movie Emmett Otter's Jump Band Christmas, another wonderful Christmas movie, go and do it right now. Just stop whatever you're doing and go watch that movie because I swear he looks just like Emmett Otter, but I named him Ralphie. I have been working on this little guy nonstop. <laughs> I feel like it has taken me forever to make this. I even did a poll on my Instagram last night and an overwhelming majority said yes, knitting does take a lot longer than crochet. So um, I'm really hoping that I will get these legs done today in this last arm because honestly, um, he is looking super cute. I know he's in pink, but I feel like it's a him. So um, wish me luck today. Now let's talk about the whole reason why I'm making this video today. And that is to talk to you about double point needles. Don't be afraid. I know those used to scare me to death, but I'm gonna talk about them and I'm gonna show you and share with you my tips and tricks, my pros and cons, my failures, and my successes. Ever since I knit my little bunny from Little Cotton Rabbits, I have been sort of obsessed with knitting toys. And this happens to me frequently is I find some new technique and I have to know every single thing about it. I go deep, I go down rabbit trails, no pun intended there, and I just want to learn every single thing I can. If you are not familiar with Julie from Little Cotton Rabbits, let me introduce you to her. Now, I do not know Julie personally, but I have been a big fan of her designs and her blog for some time now. She is a knit toy designer from the UK, and she blogs all about her life and her designs, and I can't get enough of it. Now, this may sound a little bit like a stalker, but I promise I am a very friendly, well-intentioned stalker, but I have gone back to the beginning of her blog and I have been reading it. All of this week, I've been staying up way too late, like till one o'clock in the morning reading her blog, but this beautiful world, her photography is so gorgeous and I, just, I can't get enough of it. So I'm currently up to June of 2016 right now, so I've got a little bit more to read, which I'm really excited about. But once I made my little Ruthie rabbit here, I kind of was all done with seaming. Now, Julie is very, very, very honest in her patterns. Uh, before you purchase them, she actually kind of has a little warning that states that these take a really long time. They are all knit flat. There is a ton of seaming to do. And she basically warns you that if you don't want to do all that work, go buy another pattern, which I just find so wonderful. She is so honest about the work that's involved with this. So based on that, after I I made Little Ruthie Rabbit, I needed a bit of a break. I did not want to do any more seaming. And once I learned that you can knit in the round on double point needles, I thought, well, that's what I'm going to do. And that's how my little Ralphie came to be. Maybe you're asking yourself, what in the world are double point needles? Well, these are my double point needles. They are the Addy brand and I got them for love knitting. And maybe you're thinking, well, I don't need five of them. Yes, you do. Yes, 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 you do. 
you need at least four of them. So I wouldn't buy a pack that didn't have at least four of them in there. And now if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't buy the metal ones. I would buy the bamboo kind because bamboo is stickier and your stitches don't fall off quite as easily. And let me tell you something on metal, it's going to fall off and it is absolutely terrifying as a beginner knitter to have your stitches always falling off. So I recommend bamboo if you're just getting started. Now I am also not going to show you how I get started on double point needles in those first couple of rounds because I'm going to be honest, it's ugly. It is an ugly process for me and there's a lot of mumbling under my breath and a lot of like ah, noises and it's just not pretty. So I have found a wonderful YouTube tutorial with a wonderful woman who does a great job of explaining how to use double point needles and how to get started and I'm gonna leave that link in the blog post. One interesting thing that I discovered from knitting toys is that it takes quite a bit longer to knit them than it does to crochet them. You wouldn't think so but it really does. I got a little bit curious when I was knitting little Ralphie and I decided to time how long it would take to make one leg. That little short little leg right there it took 59 minutes and 40 seconds. 59 minutes and 40 seconds for one little leg. So yes, it takes quite a bit of time. So be forewarned that this process takes much longer, especially if you are used to crocheting amigurumi. One of the things I really love about knitting is the ability to pick up stitches. Now, when you're doing that in the round, you can add little ears and arms and legs, and I really love that part because even if you're crocheting with amigurumi, there's a lot of seaming involved, and with this, there was very little seaming at all, and I really, really love that part. technique that I really didn't know anything about while making this little Ralphie was the Kitchener stitch. Now I had heard of that before, especially for making socks, and to be honest that sounded absolutely terrifying to me, and I didn't want to have anything to do with it, but I got through halfway through this pattern when I found out that I was going to have to do that stitch to close up the little hood here and to seam his little feet closed. Now, I didn't realize that I was going to fall in love with the Kitchener stitch. It is awesome and I found a wonderful YouTube tutorial and I'm going to link that in the blog post below. So if you are afraid of something like that, don't be. It really is an easy process. It turns out really beautifully and it's not hard at all. Now that I have crocheted toys, knit them flat and knit them in the round, I feel like I have the right to have a little bit of an opinion about how they're made and the pros and cons of each. So for crocheted toys, I think that it is the easiest of all three techniques. It works up the most quickly. There are so many adorable crochet amigurumi patterns available. There's not a lot of different stitches or techniques you need to learn and there's a moderate amount of seaming and sewing on parts depending on the pattern. For toys knit flat, the pros are that it creates a beautiful squishy fabric and the possibilities are endless for what can be created. The color work can be simple or very detailed. It takes a good deal of time to knit compared to crochet and there are many different techniques that need to be learned to be able to knit them. There are tons of mattress seaming and sewing on of parts, but it is easier than knitting on double point needles. Then knitting toys in the round, the pros are that knitted toys are very squishable and huggable. The possibilities are endless for what can be created. The color work can be simple or very detailed. Now the cons are learning to use double point needles can be a bit tricky and I found that my fabric wasn't as neat and that was really due to a lack of experience. Knitting toys takes a long time whether they're flat or on in the round and the great thing about knitting them in the round is that there is very little seaming and little sewing on of parts. I don't have a favorite, but I am so glad that I learned all three techniques. I'm glad that I know how to crochet amigurumi, I know how to knit flat, and I'm working on knitting in the round. 
And I hope that you will try these different techniques and I would love to hear from you if you love to knit in the round or are you a double point needle hater? I would love to know. I'm Elise, thank you so much for stopping by at Le Petit Saint Crochet where I share all about whimsical amigurumi, creative crochet and running a handmade business. And please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell so that you'll know the next time I add a video here. Thanks for coming by.